Hello and welcome to the Silverglade Shield Tutorial Part 2. In this tutorial we'll be going over how to latex a shield start to finish. The first step is to prepare the surface you'll be painting on, first by dusting off the shield and then priming it with some kind of spray adhesive. The spray adhesive only needs to be used for the first layer because it will help the first layer of brush latex bind to the surface. We'll be using straight brush latex, putting a layer of pure brush latex onto the surface both on the front face and onto the rear face, going over the sides of the shield with each coat. With this shield, we did two coats of pure latex on the front and two coats of pure latex on the back, and then we moved to doing the coloured coats of latex. It's also important when latexing to make sure the coats are kept thin and even so no globules or droplets end up in the final product. Once the pure latex coats are done, we then move to doing the coloured base coat. This coloured base coat will be done using black paint, and for the base coat, the mixture will be one part paint to four parts latex. This ensures that while the layers are coloured, they will still have the flexibility and strength to sustain combat. As the more paint you mix into latex, the more brittle and less flexible it becomes. On this shield, we only needed to do two coats of the base coat on both the front and rear surface. But as latex dries transparently, you may need to do more or fewer coats depending on how opaque the base coat is. With the black paint we were using, we didn't have to do too many coats. Once the base coat is dry and cured, we then move on to adding the coloured latex to the surfaces. In this case, we wanted to start with the wood panelling on the rear of the shield and the green panelling on the front face of the shield. The wood panelling is achieved first by doing a brown base on all the wooden areas, followed by doing thinner and thinner layers of lighter brown colours onto the raised surfaces of the wood, which helps to bring out the sculpted details of the wood grain that we put into the shield during the building stage. Once the wood panelling was done, we then moved to the green surface on the front. The green surface on the front started with a dark forest green mixed with just a latex, which we had to build up over several layers due to the green not being a very intense pigment. And as you can see here, although the latex is white when it's wet, because it dries clear, you may often end up with the layers looking more translucent when dry. And so it's okay if you need to go over an area multiple times with one color. We then added lighter and lighter shading to the green to give the illusion of depth to the green paneling on the front face. Once the green on the front face was complete, we then moved to recoating all the areas that were going to be metal with black because the metallic areas were painted with straight silver paint onto the black areas. The silver paint was lightly brushed on in a few layers to make sure that the black recesses of the metal areas were kept dark and that the silver on the raised areas was clearer and more intense in color. The metallic areas were completed on both the front and back. Once the metallic area is completed, we then moved on to the gems, which started with a thin coat of dark red across most of the gem, which we then graduated in smaller areas of thin coats of lighter reds, mixing in white as we went. With each subsequent coat being lighter and lighter, this eventually gave the gems the illusion of depth and having light reflect through them. Especially when you're mixing white into colours, it can be valuable to wait for each layer to dry before applying the next one, as the wet latex is white and it can sometimes uh, trick you into thinking a layer will be lighter than it is. It can also be worth mixing the paint colours together before adding the latex to make sure you have the desired pigment you want. And once all those colours have cured, we have a fully painted shield. In this case, once the latex was cured, we also added the strap to the back half of the shield. Once that was done, we then covered the latex areas in a silicon lubricant. So thank you for watching, Silver Fam, and merry shield making!